So a point shoe is kind of like the quintessential ballerina tool. Sometimes you hear people call them toe shoes, but they're like ballet shoes, but harder and stiffer. They allow you to put all your weight onto your toes, which sounds crazy and unnatural, but the shape of the tip here actually makes it possible that you can stand with minimal effort. They elongate the line of your leg, they continue it, and then also they contribute to the magic of it all, because as an audience member who doesn't do ballet or has never been on point, it's like, wow, this is impressive. It opens up the possibilities um, for what a dancer can do. So everything you can do on flat, you can do everything you can do on a demi point, but now you have this third dimension um, and you can, you can just do more stuff. It just opens up the possibilities. It takes a lot of conditioning. It takes years of training. I've been dancing on point for nearly 20 years, not quite 20 years. But yeah, it becomes second nature. So it's like breathing for me. So usually when you become a professional ballet dancer um, in a company, you'll get custom shoes made just for you, just for your foot shape, size, and um, just whatever your foot demands, whatever your body needs. We're very lucky that we were able to have fittings with professionals who come from Freed or other makers, and they help us every season. They take a look at how the shoe's fitting us, how we're feeling in the shoe, and they make adjustments. And I actually, I Googled this, because I was like, I wonder how many bones there are in our feet. And it's insane. So we have 33 joints, 26 bones, and like hundreds of muscles, ligaments, and tendons. Like having all those different bits and bobs in your feet, we must all have discrepancies. It's amazing that we have the opportunity to make this part longer or shorter, make it harder around here, or cut down the fabric at the side to fit the biology of our feet. It's hugely important to have well-fitting point shoes for your foot health. If your shoes don't fit right, or if they don't fit correctly, you're susceptible to so many body injuries, foot, ankle, toes, impingements. So you really want your shoes to fit properly. Um, and there's professional point shoe fitters. It's an actual job who help to make sure that your shoe fits like a glove and it should really fit your foot like a glove. I love, I love point shoes. Like I, rem like, I love point shoes so much. I think it's maybe part of like why I became a ballet dancer. There's just something so beautiful and pretty about them. It's kind of like a rite of passage to get your first pair of point shoes. I was about 10 years old when I first went on point. That's when I got my first pair of shoes. I was so excited. I'd put them on in my bedroom and like dance and like walk around in them. My first actual pair I still have to this day. I keep them in a box because it's kind of one of those things. It's like this is a special moment in my journey. Um, so I cherish them. When you first get the point shoes and they're brand new, they're quite um, fresh and crispy and stiff. Um, so I like to break them in a little bit using my hands just to further customize their comfort and their fit. Um, and my process might change again, depending on the repertoire and depending on the demands of my role. So I might break them in more if I need a softer shoe and I might do less if I need a really hard supportive shoe and I have to sew ribbons and elastics on. First of all, you have to sew them, and a lot of us also darn the tip of them. But then, even before you put it on your foot, for example, I like will step on this part and squish it down so it's flatter. To make my shoes last a little bit longer, there's special glues that you can use. Um, there's a glue called jet glue, and then there's also, I believe it's actually a wood varnish called shellac um, that you can put into your shoe on different areas wherever it's getting soft and that can prolong the life of your shoe. Also, I, these shoes that I wear are made with orga all organic material, so they're like totally biodegradable, apparently, um, because it's cotton and leather and um, car like kind of paper material and a natural glue. So um, these shoes can break down pretty easily. Um, and they do break down pretty easily. <laughs> I use about Anywhere between six and 10 pairs of shoes per month. Um, it really depends on what we're dancing, um, what repertoire we're doing. Even it depends on how hard the floor is. Certain stages are sprung, some stages aren't. Um, so if the floor is really hard, my shoes might dive faster. I wear a lot of point shoes compared to most of the girls. I feel like I just eat point shoes. Um, I probably wear two to three pairs a week. And sometimes, like, it depends on what we're doing, but in certain shows, your point shoes might be done after like one show. But then other shows or other things that you're dancing, depending on what you need, 
You might wear the same point shoe for weeks, or some girls wear them for months. Point shoes are vital for ballet. They're very important. I was thinking earlier that like, if I was a painter, my paintbrush would be like my point shoe, and like the stage would maybe be the canvas. So it's like the most vital physical tool that we have. And of course you can dance without a point shoe, but in ballet, it's like, like you can paint without a paintbrush, you know? There's other forms and there's other ways to do it, but it's the classic tool for us.